Hello guys, this is Lakshay from Simply Learn and welcome to this tutorial on Java Inheritance. This is a part of our Java tutorial series where we will cover everything you need to know to master Java. Now without wasting any time, let's move on to our topic. Now let's see what we are going to learn today. First, we will see what inheritance means, then the types of inheritance that are supported by Java and finally, we will see real-time programs on each of the types of inheritance. Now let's see what is inheritance. When one class inherits some properties and attributes of other class, it is known as inheritance. Let's have a look at an example. In this example, mobiles is a superclass that have variables like cost, color and RAM. The classes that inherits the variables and methods of mobiles are Samsung, Xiaomi and Nokia. These classes are known as subclass. Now let's see the types of inheritance in Java. First we have single inheritance. In single inheritance, one class inherits features from another class. As you can see above, class B inherits all properties of class A. This is a simple concept of inheritance. Next, we have multi-level inheritance. A derived class inherits from base class and derived class also act as a base class to other class. Sounds complicated, right? Now let's see this example. Class B is derived from class A. Then class C is derived from class B. Because of this, Class C contains properties of both class A and B. This is very effective when you go for inheritance in big programs. And lastly, we have hierarchical inheritance. In this, one class serves as base class and two or more classes serves as derived class. As you can see above, class B, class D and class C have a single base class A. So three classes inherit properties of single class. This is called hierarchical inheritance. Now. To understand these all concepts better, let's use Java code. So now let's create a new project. Next. Next. And I'm gonna name it as inheritance. So we have our main program here. So I'll just create a new class. New Java class. And for now, let me just name it as mobiles. So what are the features in mobiles to start with? The cost of the mobile, the color of the mobile and what can we do it as or RAM of the mobile. I am making it as string because I am going to write GB as well. So that's why string and now let's use getters and setters for this. Select all and OK. So we have our first class mobiles here. So our first type of inheritance was single inheritance. So I'll create one more class and I'm going to name it as Android. And I'll make Android as extends. Okay, I'll leave it for now. So this mobile class we are going to use afterwards for now. I'll use only Android. So let me make it as string Android version. And for this, I'm going to go for getter and setter. So what is single level inheritance? One class inherits from another class. So I'll create one more program or I'll create a one more class and I'm going to name it as Samsung because Samsung is an Android phone and as well as it comes under mobiles. So now I'm going to extend it to Android. Extends Android. So no need of writing anything inside it. As soon as I write extends Android, I can use all the variables. Right now I have only Android version as the variable. So now let's go to main program. And I'm write Samsung S is equal to new Samsung. So I just created an object of it. So now if I use S dot, I'll get Android version. So I'll set Android version as Android Pi. And now to show it, I'm gonna give it as Samsung Android version. And here S dot get Android version. So now I have Android class and a Samsung class and I extended Android class to the Samsung. So Samsung can use all the variables here and I can even set the variables here. So if I execute it, 
and here you go you can see samsung android version that's android pie so without even declaring even a single variable or method here in samsung i used the variable of android and i did this so this is called as single level inheritance so next i'm gonna move it for multi-level inheritance so what is multi-level one class is derived from next and this class is derived from here so i have three classes right now so i'm gonna put android extends mobile so now android can use all the variables of mobiles i can use cost color or ram and even samsung that extends android can use all the variables from mobile so if i put variables for it s dot see i can get color cost or ram so i'm gonna go for set color i'm gonna give it as black and next s dot set cost cost i'm gonna give it as thirty thousand let it be dollar or rupees and the last one s dot ram i'm gonna give it as 4 gb so now if i print i'll just delete all this so now i can print them one by one so let's just do that so i'm gonna give it as samsung mobile details and then cost s dot get cost next i'm gonna give it as color plus s dot color sorry s dot get color and next last one i'm gonna give it as ram plus s dot get ram so now you can see i have not declared any variable inside samsung but i inherited all the variables from here mobiles and android so all the variables from mobiles are here and as per android if i put android version s dot get android version so now if i execute it i'll get all the values and as a result i'll get everything that i gave as the value so now let's just execute it oh, instead of cost i should put color so as you can see i have the cost of samsung mobile color and ram and even android version so all these variables i gave in mobile and android version i gave in android class but nothing in samsung class so this is how multi-level inheritance works so now let's move on to the third topic that was hierarchical inheritance so what is hierarchical in inheritance in that three classes or two classes have a single base class so i'm gonna create two more classes that derives android so now let's create them next i'm gonna name it as nokia and the last one xiaomi so these are real time examples three mobiles we have three different companies and all uses android and they all come under mobiles so now in everything i'm gonna write extends android So this is the final version of inheritance that we have and this is very simple to understand but it might get complicated when we use big programs or very large programs for some project. So now I have nothing inside class Nokia or Xiaomi or Samsung. I am going to use all the variables that come from Android and mobiles as Android extends mobiles. So this is the concept like I have three classes, three mobile companies that comes under Android and we can use them to manipulate the variables and assign values to the variables. So I already have everything from Samsung. So first let's create objects for all these classes. Nokia N is equal to new Nokia and Xiaomi X is equal to new xiaomi so now i'm gonna assign variables to their values so now let's start with nokia n dot set color let's give it as red 
n dot set cost i'm going to give it as 40000 again doesn't matter because it's a normal program so it doesn't matter whether it's dollar or rupees so next n dot set ram ram 4 gb and lastly n dot set android version android marshmallow so and in the end i'm gonna give x dot let's just copy paste it so it will be a lot easier for me to code or for you to code so here x dot and color i'm gonna give it as silver rate 50,000 ram 6 gb and android let's give it some old so kit cat so now we have set all the values to the variables so now let's print them as well so again i'm gonna copy paste all those details instead of samsung nokia here it gets n n instead of s and now again copy paste now xiaomi x dot x dot x and finally x so with this i have completed the program i can show you all the values that i gave in the starting let's just revise it so in mobiles i gave all the variables cost color and ram android i extended from mobiles and i gave one more variable as android version nokia xiaomi and samsung i gave nothing but i only extended android so now let's execute it so we have successfully executed our program let's have a look at it so here samsung mobile details in the starting color cost after that nokia mobiles and in the end xiaomi mobile and everything that we gave as the value are here so with this we have completed our program i hope you understood what inheritance is so i'll just revise it one more time so in single level inheritance i used only samsung android and mobiles and samsung i derived from android and i used only android version in the starting next i used multi-level inheritance in that i used mobiles android and samsung with the use of mobile variables i used samsung and i printed the values of color cost ram and android version as samsung in the next that is hierarchical inheritance i used nokia xiaomi and samsung so i hope you understood what the concept of inheritance means so this brings us to the end of this video we learned everything about java inheritance and all its types using java code i hope you like the video thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified, click here.